The first ever biography of legendary investor T. Rowe Price is now out. On Coffee With, I spoke with the author about his relationship with Price. Cornelius Bond has written the first ever biography of investor T. Rowe Price, a name we know very well here in Baltimore. And you worked with him for a decade. Uh, 20 years at the, uh, actually, yes. Two decades? Yes, two decades. Tell us about that. Well, he is a uh, amazing man to work for. He, uh, he was um, one of the best investors of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. And um, actually one of the reasons I wrote the book is so that uh, others can learn from his common sense investment approach, <clears throat> which focuses on companies, not stocks and maybe achieve uh, a better record and achieve their own financial goals by, by following some of the advice in the book. The Man, the Company, and the Investment Philosophy, the book was just recently released. Give us some, maybe some personal anecdotes you have about him. Well, um, uh, one little anecdote. He, um, he was very uh, uh, strict in his, uh, in his uh, business life and you had to make an appointment to go see him, even mm -hmm. though you might be an employee. And uh, one day, uh, one of our uh, portfolio managers uh, knocked on his door. No answer, but he walked in anyway, sat down in front of Mr. Price. Mr. Price paid no attention. <laughs> After a while, he said, Pete, do you have an appointment? And uh, Pete said, no, sir. <laughs> and he said, uh, uh, is your watch uh, working, Pete? Uh, I'm busy. This is my busy time. Wow. He says, yes, sir, my, my watch is working fine. And finally, after several minutes of this back and forth, Mr. Price said, well, Pete, get out of here. <laughs> and uh, Pete got up and went to the door, and he said, Mr. Price, I stopped in just to tell you that the building was on fire. <laughs> and so Mr. Price <laughs> hurried over to the door and opened it up and here were all the firemen oh outside. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. <laughs> it gives a little example about how disciplined he was. Yes, and who he was. So this book took you four years of research yes, and writing. Exactly. Um, how does it feel seeing it now, you know, finished? It's a wonderful feeling. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's one of those things that I think is, is very well done, uh, very well worth doing because as you pointed out, uh, no book has ever been written about this modern, uh, very ethical, moral man who built one of the largest companies in the investment business. Today it manages about $1 trillion wow. of mutual fund assets and has several million shareholders. And it's right here in Baltimore. And it's right so. here in Baltimore, mm -hmm. yes. Fascinating. Congratulations on the book. Of course, you are from Baltimore, but you live in San Francisco now, so you'll head back to the West Coast soon. That's right. But thank you, Cornelius, for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. We'll be right back after this with news, traffic, and weather.